All right, everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode from The Lair. And today I'm gonna to be doing a reaction piece. Uh, I got an email from a guy, he sent me this, dear girls who are finally ready to date nice guys. I know it's been out there for a while, but uh, it's like the third or fourth time somebody sent it to me and they want me to address it. So uh, I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, number one, uh, let's see, ladies, be honest with yourself now. Get familiar with the dick stacking test, please. You take the number of cocks you've been, you know, the number of men you've been with, multiply that by six, and then divide by 12. And if you put a platform at that height and you jump off, if you're gonna get hurt, then that's too many cocks. It is what it is. And uh, don't think you can avoid the question with guys and saying, you know, hey, you know, I, I don't keep track, that's 100 cocks. Or I'm a free spirit, that's 45 cocks. Um, I mean, come on, we all know what's going on here. All right, you're over 30, we don't give a fuck, and, you know, ride it into the scene of the crash, baby. <laughs> First of all, when you, you know, you're around us, please stop talking about your ex or your current boyfriend, how much of a dick he is, and slaps you around, and he's like, a Neanderthal or something, you invited that into your life and we're no longer the White Knights. Uh, I don't know, I sold my my horse to France to eat, to eat that over there, horse meat's pretty good. My armor became a, uh, I don't know, wood stove and uh, I'm just chilling like a villain and watching you pay the piper. <laughs> you spent your 20s bed hopping, you know, when either while you're in college as a, as a sorostitute or a hewer or a hoe, which is a horizontal orientated entertainer. And now you wanna, you know, also wanna be treated like a lady. Um, sorry, um, you lost that a long time ago. So, you know, you might wanna get those warts burned off because uh, that's nasty. <laughs> All right, ladies, now you're gonna hate to hear this, but uh, you say chivalry is dead. Well, no, it's not, it's a warrior's code. And since you ladies can now serve in combat, you're gonna find out what that is in short order. So, you're in the bar, like if you're a dude, you go to the bar, you run your mouth at a guy, he'll give you a warning, if you keep doing it, he busts you in the chops. Guess what, girls? You're, you're right at the home plate for that. So, uh, if I were you, I wouldn't run off with the diarrhea mouth when you're out in public because some guy probably won't like it much and he'll, I don't know, punch you in your fucking face. All right, ladies, number five. Now, while you're out there spending your 20s and your early 30s bed hopping and riding the cock carousel or whatever whatever they want to call it, the nice guys out there, which I'm not, I'm not a nice guy, but uh, they've gone on to become CEOs, doctors, dentists, attorneys, uh, judges, cops, uh, soldiers, entrepreneurs, CEOs, business owners, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And what have you done? Huh? What have you done? You wrote some checks with your, uh, you know, beef and cheddar and catcher's mitt, and they're worth nothing now. And uh, yeah, those nice guys, they're, they're going for, you know, 10 to 15 years younger. They're diving right below you, and they don't even pay attention. So, so ladies, you know, when you're in your, you know, late 30s and uh, your 40s, you might want to look at the 55, 65 age bracket or older because those guys will take in a heartbeat. But uh, it is what it is. On the downside of 30, ladies, this is what we're looking at here. You got your C-section scars, you got your stretch marks from losing weight or, at, or gaining weight, you're pregnant or whatever you call it. You know, the tiger stripes, the tree bark, the tree rings, uh, you know, your downstairs mix up looks like it's been mauled by a bear. We're not buying it, ladies, you did it to yourself. <laughs> Number seven, ladies, we are no longer in the market for you anymore. Uh, we don't want to take care of uh, bad boy bills, uh, you know, kid. And uh, we don't want to pay the bills, we want to be responsible for it. So, you know, get a job and do what men do and work your ass off and pay bills and die young. So, I hear this a lot from some of you ladies out there, especially the hate mail. Um, you know, you get around 38 to 45 and all of a sudden you feel invisible because you are we're done with you all right you got to go up go up the levels 55 65 70 whatever you know and you might be some good uh you know sugar mama or sugar daddy thing going on because we're done all right another thing uh, the guys out there have noticed we've seen your profiles on uh you know online dating and uh average does not equal roomy or wamalo or depend upon a puss. 
Uh, it doesn't mean meaty, healthy, um, or teeter-totter breaker. So average means average. And most of you girls, you're not average anymore. You eat like a king, three meals a day, and now you're fat as hell. And uh, sorry. Oh, and don't play this baby weight bullshit. That doesn't work on us. And while you're in your 20s and 30s, you know, you went through your freshman 15 when you showed up at college, if you even did at all. And usually you go right to your senior 60 <laughs> or your master's mastiff. That's where all the skin goes down because you lose weight and you look like a Sharpe. Yeah, it is what it is. So uh, you can be pugly, fugly, whatever. The oval above your, uh, you know, your shoulders is looking glass challenged. Uh, you're picking me off the bone ugly. Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, probably... So it's hard to say this, but uh, plastic surgery is probably not going to help you. So run a few miles and uh, get some get some humility. Now a lot of these ladies out there, they get north of 30, and it's they they freak out, and they freak out because they realize that their fertility is limited, and uh, they want to do their deal. So uh, you know they get to 30, and they look down, and and they see the scene of the crash coming, and they do what they can to avoid it. But, uh, you know, once you get to that scene of the crash, you're OPP, old, poor, and powerless. And that leads to the next one. <laughs> Feminism no longer cares about you once you reach the crash site of your OPP, old, poor, and powerless. And you richly deserve this slow motion train wreck because you did it to yourself. You bought into an idea or ideal that uh, promised you the world and delivered nothing at the, other, at the other end, except for, I don't know, a lot of women are in poverty now. Some of them are in crushing poverty. And uh, a lot of them are just relying strictly on their social security and uh, didn't save any money and uh, you're fucked. You did it to yourself, haha. <laughs> One last thing, ladies. Pop is on station and pop don't play. I'm going to be uh, neglecting your feelings because they don't mean shit to me. And I'll be dropping logic reason and, uh, I don't know, the truth. <laughs> truth hurts, don't it? Uh, I don't really give a shit about what you have to say. And, I, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this generation and the Western world, for the most part, has royally fucked itself. Buying into this, you know, second, third, and upcoming fourth wave feminism. You already won all your battles, and now you're just picking, you know, fights that are absolutely ludicrous. Like some guy spreads his leg in the subway. Who gives a fuck? That's so stupid. Oh my god. Or, you know, you walk around the street with your tits hanging out because you have the right to do that. You know, come on. Come on. You're really going to walk down the street with your tits hanging out, then say you, some guy should open the door for you and treat you like a gentleman or a lady? Fuck you. That is fucked up. And you fight for these rights to get, you know, abortions. Even you're fighting for abortions all the way up to like eight, nine months, which is reprehensible. All right. I mean, I can understand rape, uh, you know, deformations or, you know, w woman's health. Fine. I got it. But a, a lot of these women out there are arguing that it's not truly life. But correct me if I'm wrong here, but do we or do we not have a NASA program? And over the past four decades, Hmm, let me think. We spent trillions of dollars looking at other planets just to find one little microbe that was that we can say is alive. Okay? Your arguments don't mean shit. All right. That's it to my rant for the day. Um, hopefully we can cut it together and make something good out of it. Uh, you take it easy. Oh, and uh, <laughs> the shirts. Refugee repellent. Race riot apparel.